know with the winter set in the way it is here we are late January uh, there comes a time every year when I'm just about tired of winter this year it came early uh, we're not even in the barely through the first month of winter and I'm tired of it uh, our, our early winter has been extremely wet I think that wetness has made it I don't know just more irritating than anything generally here in the south we have some good days in the winter this year hadn't been that way it's been pretty chilly it's been a little more like a real winter more like one of them winters that I feel sorry for people that live where they have a real winter so yeah it's uh, not been fun but I still got a fish There you go folks, got her dropped in the water. Ryan and getting it warmed up. Get out here and see if there's any fish to be caught. It's chilly out here, water temperature's about 47. Bumped up pretty good. We got a little bit of a uh, northeast wind. So uh, I'm gonna get set up down here. Try drip, drifting some open bays, some of these open mouths, some of these bigger creeks. Uh, gonna be on the lower end of the lake. I'm getting ready to go under the uh, Buster Boyd Bridge here on Lake Wiley. This we kind of use as the dividing line between the upper lake and the lower lake. Uh, you can see what's down here. I haven't fished down here in a couple of weeks. And uh, typically it's a good area in the winter. Uh, it's, it's a little more consistent fishing. Uh, not always the biggest fish, but big fish can be caught here. So I'm going to try that just to see uh, something a little different. The upper part, uh, upper part of the lake. It's been tough. It's been real tough, but it's the way it is. Uh, there's a lot of options down here as far as creeks and stuff to fish in, and uh, we can go from deep to super shallow. So uh, a lot of options. We're just uh, gonna see what works, and what doesn't work. Guys, I think I got thunderboard fish on here. Swam off there. Looks like he's hooked up. Good bend. See if I can get him to the outside. I don't think that's going to happen. Is he going to come to the outside of that line? I don't know. Haven't been dragging long. Probably 15 minutes and got hooked up. That's good. That's good. That's refreshing. Pulling my boat sideways. That's good. Pop this planer board off. He's not a monster, so... I'm going to go ahead and get the board off. I should be able to maintain pressure on him. There's off of there. What I try to do is keep that rod bent so the line stays tight. Ideally, you should just pop that planter board loose and let it float on down. But if you're disciplined and keep that line tight and that rod bent, You'll keep a little bit of pressure on him all the time. You can get it all the way off. It's a lot easier to manage that way. He keeps pulling. Water's relatively clear here. About 47 degrees. Let's see if he's inside that line. Yep making a nice slow drag through here trying to maintain point four ish somewhere in there it's working a flat several hundred yards between the river channel and uh, the bank that's a good fish that pretty good oh missed him Okay. Okay. Nice looking fish. Got that mud. Usually a sign of some inactive fish. Not this one. He was hungry. Well, it's warmed up a pretty good bit today. Uh, it's up into the upper 40s, around 50 degrees, which is pretty comfortable. I got my 
ball cap back on and uh, no wind. It's kind of a weird year we've had as far as wind. Normally in the winter time it's pretty blustery. Uh, but not this year. Not a lot of wind. A lot of rain. A lot of water. A lot of water through the system. Nowhere near the wind. Finally after a blazing start thinking I was on to something. Come a long way. That one was up on the bank. I pulled for probably another 45 minutes. No bites. Now I'm right on the edge of the river channel. I got this hit. It's not a big fish, but a bite. Remarkably slow fishing. But, if I can stay on this pace, it will be probably what I would consider to be an average winter day. It's not good. If you can catch one and a half an hour, you're doing something. It's a small one. Open your mouth, I want my bait back, please, sir. There we go. A lot of mud, as expected. It's that time of year for them to mud up. It usually means they're inactive. That's it, good right there. Now what I do on my spread when I am drifting or dragging for catfish, my basic setup is six rods and they are just set up around the back of the boat. Now, that will change when I add planter boards. Uh, when I add planter boards, I'm basically trying to broaden up my spread and with, uh, you know, with just running two planter boards, one on each side, that gives me one, two, three, four, five, about a 40 foot coverage span. Uh, if I add another set of planter boards, which will be four planter boards total, I'm up to roughly covering about a 60 foot swath when I drag through an area. So uh, it's a good way to cover some water. Um, it takes a little bit of work to get used to them, getting them set up, and you'll have to figure out what will work on your boat. Uh, it's odd with my boat, once I'm set up running planter boards, I have no rods out the back. My rods are on the actual side of the boat. Two of them are going straight out the back of the boat. Uh, then I have another one sticking out the side of a boat in a monster rod holder, perpendicular to the boat. So it's out there seven feet. Got one on each side. So at that point right there, you've got about a 22 foot spread going on. Then you add a planer board, and you can swim those out as far as you want to. You know, and you're adding about another 10, eight to 12 feet, depending on how far you want them apart. So very quickly, you can cover a lot of water. We got one going on a planer here. Yep, feels like he's on there. Sometimes they hit them outside ones better for whatever reason. Like I said, I can tell this isn't a huge fish. So I'm gonna pull it off of here. This makes wrangling it easier. Oop, move off of there. Get that line tight. Keep that line tight like that, you'll be fine. Right down. Right on the channel edge now. I decided to go ahead and I'm just bop up and down the edge of it here. Just trying to figure something out. Even if it's just catching some eater sized fish, I'll be happy because it's a tough bite. Tough, tough, tough. This happens though. Usually this time of the year, once some temperatures drop down into the 40s for the first time, it can get tough. I tell you, if I wanted to eat some, be the perfect size right there, guys. Perfect size. Good eating size fish right there. Showing that mud again. Get old blue cats. 
Bam, bam, let's see who's on here. There he comes. Oh, he popped off. No, he didn't. He's still there. He's coming at the boat. Actually, I think he's in another line. Yeah, he's in that line over there. I wonder if he was going to eat that other bait. Could have been what was happening. A wind shifted on me. Had the wind coming this way. It's 180 degrees now. A little boat here. I'm not sure if that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing. He either gained some weight or he's really wrapped up in a mess. You'll notice my past few trips, I've had nothing but the black big cat fever rods. I actually took these white ones, the medium action, and uh, was using them for some striper fishing. And uh, had lead core line reels on them. Took all those off last night and re-rigged them. So I can come out here. I really enjoy these rods. They're good fish. Nice one there. My boga. Look at there's boga grip. There's that boga. Fish. Yeah, about twelve pounds. Still some mud action going on. Not as bad on that one. Looking fish. Let's see what that one hit on. It's in it a demon dragon style. It had a hooker's terminal tackle line rattle added to it. That right there is a tangled mess. It's going to require some scissors. Well, folks, I got the motor fired up. I'm getting ready to head back in. I've uh, fished this really hard today. It's uh, been a struggle. I thought it was gonna take off pretty good there. Put some fish in the boat at a pretty good rate. Uh, I don't know, there was a wind shift out here. The clouds roll in, I don't know. You can use that as an excuse to catch fish or not catch fish, but for whatever reason, it did not end up uh, as I was hoping it was going to. And, but listen, that's just winter fishing. Uh, it's, a, it's a tough time to be on the water. Uh, you can be rewarded, but most of the time you're going to get your feelings hurt.